So for me, membership in the American Heart Association is not so much about what benefits I get from being a member, although there are benefits, but I think of it more as service, as volunteerism. My being involved in the AHA allows me to pursue the shared mission of building a world of longer, healthier lives um, using my individual efforts as a scientist, as a clinician. But in working with the organization, with the American Heart Association at large, it amplifies, it magnifies what I am able to do with my efforts. We are still in a situation where cardiovascular disease and stroke are the leading cause of death worldwide. And in some ways, it's actually just gotten worse despite all our efforts. We've managed to make progress in countries like the United States, but if you see what has happened over the last 20 years in middle-income countries and low-income countries, cardiovascular disease and stroke have actually become the leading causes of death there as well. And so it has really become the preeminent global health threat of the 21st century. And if we are going to have any chance whatsoever of tackling this as a global health problem and thinking far beyond our local city, community, even the country, we're going to have to engage with organizations like the American Heart Association and the wide network that's involved with the American Heart Association, our peers, our mentors, our mentees, to really tackle the, the shared mission. We can't do it individually. We can't tackle a problem with this scope. It really requires coordinated effort by organizations like the American Heart Association. To me, that's the best reason to become involved. It's really about thinking globally.